All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, not on my porch today. I'm on or in my my office. This is kind of what I use as my uh, webcam setup when I'm doing meetings for work. Um, it's actually really messy around here, but just looks okay within within shot of the camera. Anyways, uh, today's video is I kind of want to go back and recap my 2021, what I was doing, and where I ended up, and, and all this different stuff. Um, but. I gotta go back and, and, and like memory inlay a little bit. So if you look back at my videos and scroll through my videos, you'll see about 10, 11 months ago, about this time frame, probably about November, maybe December of 2021, I was like, I'm done with gas, I'm over it. And I really did feel that way at the time. However, I bought an X-Pro2, quickly realized like that wasn't the end all be all camera for me. And instead I kind of just decided to embrace my gas and I went on a buying and selling spree like usual. This channel has been two years of me just gassing out and I've seriously given some thought about changing the channel name to like Gas Attack or something like that. But what I also did at that time was I said, you know what I'm gonna do just for me and my family is I'm gonna take photos on the different little trips that I go on and I'm gonna just make little photo books out of them. And it kind of started with this trip uh, last year, November, this right here, I went to Florida. I decided to take photos and at the time I had the Lumix S5 and the GR3 and I took it with me and on this trip, um, you know, a bunch of photos, it's just memories, you know, for my wife and I to look back at and go, oh, that was a fun trip, the kids have grown up so much. But on this trip, I realized a couple things about my gear choices. So instead of trying to like rein in my gas, even though I mentally tried to a couple times, I said, nah, how about I just use what I want over the next year and see where I land. And so I put together this little book here about Florida. That was cool. Um, all in the GR3 and the S5, mostly those two cameras. Um, and then I did something where it was the winter, so I did seasonal stuff, right? Like, and this was mostly on the GR, not the GR3, but just, I got the Nikon stuff in here. Uh, I got Olympus stuff in here, um, Fuji stuff in here, a whole, whole bunch of different stuff, okay? Like all bunch of different cameras, just, oh, Leica. There's a couple Leica shots in there. Um, yeah, anyways, so there was that one. So I kept it going. Then I did the spring book. They sit on my coffee table around like a lamp upstairs and whoever's there can kind of look at them. Uh, this has film shots in it. Um, again, more Leica shots, more GR shots, um, some Sony Z, you know, EV, ZV-1 shots, more S5, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff in here. And then the last one I just put together was for summer of 2021 where we went out to Mount Evans and that kind of stuff. Again, more film, uh, more Micro Four Thirds, um, Nikon D780. In fact, I will put up the entire list of cameras that I can remember using over the last year over in one of these corners here. Um, it's a little embarrassing, but it is what it is. But the reason why I tell you this is because if I look back at these at these photos, there are a couple characteristics that come to mind. It's that like I can clearly see these are the cameras that um, if I get outside of my own head of like, oh, that's such a cool camera, a sexy camera, there's some characteristics that I gravitate towards when it actually comes time to shoot for vacation or whatever. And I'm trying to root off the top of my head what these are. But um, I gravitated towards the full frame sensor a bit more. Um, I gravitated towards size. This is probably the most important, size portability, for sure. Uh, One-handed operation. Um, and then overall like color science and aesthetic and feel. So if I had to like pick cameras that kind of fit into all these things, I really enjoyed uh, the GR, the GR3. So those were winners because of size and portability, one-handed operation. I really enjoyed my Leica M8 and M240 um, just because they're so premium and it's a full frame sensor. Well, at least the M240 is in a smaller package. A um, little clunky with the manual focusing, uh, even though you can zone focus, but when I'm chasing kids and I got one hand usually available, that was a bit of a problem. Um, I do like the full frame sensor look like I said. Uh, then there was the Olympus EM5 Mark III. In fact, I I'll show you in another video. I printed pretty big a photo. In fact, it it's this photo. Um, big for our, our uh, bathroom off the EM5 Mark III. But I like that because again, that was also smaller body stabilized. Had the two control wheels. I can do a lot of that stuff with one hand. Um, and those were my top cameras. Uh, the Nikon Z6, I took it skiing with me. 
but because the lenses, it's a little bit too big. Same with obviously the Z5 that I had. Uh, the D780, I love that as well. I got a, sh a short, small 514 lens on it, but the body's pretty big. Um, so the point is, is all, through, through all these, these photo books I have over here, I learned that I need to stick within a certain type of camera. Uh, if I could, like write a list, full frame. Can it do video and have a flip screen? Uh, portability to the lenses, they make small lens options for it. Um, to have some sense of stabilization. Like these types of things are really, really important for me. Um, and so, oh, 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 one more thing as I'm dropping stuff. I also really learned that I really like shooting film. Um, if you guys look behind me right here, it's probably still tracking me, but I got a bunch of film, other things like that, um, because I'm gonna shoot a bit more film. In fact, I have been shooting a bit more film. I really enjoy it. Uh, so anyways, I went on a quest to kind of have this set up in my mind where I have a pocket camera and then a, a uh, I guess, do everything or very capable camera in digital and then I want the same setup in film so that I can kind of go either way I want to go uh, with my camera choices. And so, um, yeah, so here's what I ended up with, and I'm not done, but I am absolutely going to keep my Ricoh GR uh, for the time being as my pocket digital camera. Uh, the GR3 I think is a little bit better in terms of image output, actually quite a bit better, but the ergonomics on this are second, second to none. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep my Canon 8 one I'm gonna shoot a bunch of film. Uh, there we go. Shoot a bunch of film um, because I like film a lot. And then I purchased a new camera. I'm recording you on it right now. Um, and I actually felt kind of gross when I bought it because I've avoided this brand ever since I used them. In fact, this was my first brand of camera before anything, um, before this whole gas attack started. My first ever camera was an A6000 and it was an A6300. And uh, I picked this camera up and as much as I didn't want to didn't want to like it, uh, this is the Sony A7C. And um, it kind of checks all the boxes. Unfortunately, um, it's small. You can put pancake primes on it. They make the G Master glass, uh, the 24, 40, and 50, the 2.5, 40 and 50 and the 2.8 24 that's small it's uh it, seriously it's it's no bigger than my em5 mark 3 was with a small lens on it it's the same size um it's got the flip screen it does video autofocus is obviously fantastic um it, it's just i can one hand it I'll, with a caveat if you get the g master glass it's got an aperture ring on it i just set my aperture and then there's two dials and i use those for sh for shutter and for iso and i can one hand that like that uh which is really good and the autofocus um is obviously fantastic i keep it on afs single focus but then the af on button is af continuous while it's pushed down and it tracks so i kind of use it like uh, if you're hunting like with a gun right i put it in the crosshairs smash the af on button and then i can recompose and it's continually keeping focus so it actually does a really really good job of doing that um so I say all this to let you know that uh, I hope, I, I, I think, my gas is going to slow down quite a bit. And this photo project, I'll keep this going because this is for the family, but now it's time for me to focus on another photo project. And I don't know what that is yet. I'm actually, this is kind of the point of the video. If anybody has uh, any feedback or any suggestions on kind of what to do, like I thought about shapes, I thought about colors, I thought about doing some like research and history on an area surrounding me and like kind of doing documentary work with a little bit of like writing and photos, that kind of stuff. Or I tried picking, I thought, thought about like picking a word like, I don't know, uh, perseverance, right? And like you've seen the picture of like the tree that's like on a rock and there's like a root that's going across like to another area that's got grass. Have you seen those photos? If not, something like that though, right? As I go through this next year to not just do family stuff, which is probably the most important stuff I shoot, honestly, but to document something. Maybe, maybe it's my cottage up north. You guys aren't familiar. This is Lost Lake Woods Club. Um, what if I did something up there? You know, something like that. And I want to document it. I want to make it more about the photography and the overall story. Um, so yeah, this is kind of my year in review video. This is the, the end of what I had in mind. I did the four seasons. Um, well, kind of. I mean, this was not really a season, but it was the start of it. And I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And I'm fairly happy with kind of how things went. Spent a lot of money, a lot of time. 
um, buying and selling cameras, but i um, fairly happy with the fact that I think I like this camera. I do. Um, I'll do a full review on it later, um, especially with these smaller lenses, but I wanted to let you guys know where it's at. Sorry, talking head video. These aren't great, not a lot of photos. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I highly encourage anybody, if you guys have a family, have kids or whatever, to do something like this. Break it into seasons, break it into events, whatever. Go on Shutterfly. You don't have to curate these in a certain way if you don't want. Like, just take your photos and put them to print because you'll learn a lot. What, what I find kind of hilarious is, you know, you can have full frame sensors and all that stuff, but like this photo here is on a Micro Four Thirds EM5 Mark III, and if I go back and I look, like this is on film these are my favorite photos because of the color and the texture and that kind of stuff um, yeah like this Nikon shot sure it looks really good um, and there's nothing wrong with it but like it's not my favorite photos necessarily um, heck this was shot on an iPhone right here on an iPhone it looks great you know it's just it just when you put photos to print, it makes a lot less of a difference. This is, these are on a Draco GR. Where's it at? This one and this one. My son playing hockey. Um, this is on a Sony ZV-1 right here. Can I see this? It's on a Sony ZV-1. One inch sensor. It really, uh, when you go to print, if you're not printing huge, it matters a lot less. It's more about like what form and function do you actually go out and shoot with? Which one do you enjoy creating with? And what color output do you like? Well, here's like M8. M8 photos. You know, it's just kind of crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching my ramblings. It's, I'm looking at 12 minutes of me talking to the camera. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in future videos. More going out. I have um, my brother and sister-in-law coming over on Friday. They want like a five-minute portrait session. Super early in the morning and I'll bring you guys along for that. I'm going to go pro it and do a five minute portrait session and hopefully we do okay with the A7C. And I bought, uh -uh, I bought the Zeiss 55 1.8, this guy right here. Boop, there it is. Uh, fantastic lens. So, all right guys, have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.